I say everyone, welcome back to Covering Subtit. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Today's reading is going to be for the sunshine of Leos. All right, so we're going to get the overall energy for the reading. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, new subscribers, and cross watchers. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you all so much for the love and support. If you guys needed a personal, definitely email me. If you guys wanted to ask questions, you can email me. You can find information for my email in any video, under any video, in the description box down below. Um, along with channel messages and my cash app if you guys wanted to donate to the channel as well. Just a little energy clearing, a little mist. So let's get the overall energy here for the sunshine of Leo. Just overall messages, overall energy for Leos at this time. One card, Holy Spirit protection. One card. So we have the Six of Swords coming out here in the reverse. So failure is the overall energy for Leos at this time. Now, you could be feeling like you failed at something or this is somebody that you're dealing with that feels like they failed at something in regards to you, okay? But the overall energy is failure. Six of Swords is in the reverse. What else is here for Leo's? What else is here for Leo's energy? Ace of Wands. The Three of Wands, it came out in the reverse. So I feel like somebody here thought they were going to have some sort of success with something here. And they're having a fall from grace. Remember to apply the rose, how they fit, taper, resonate, leave what does not. What else is here for the sign of Leo? They don't want things to be exposed. Eight of Swords is here. They're sending the evil eye because they don't want things to be exposed. Maybe the fact that they're trying to keep someone tied up or trapped in some sort of way. This could be sex as well. Or just mental entrapment or prison, if even. We have the Strength card here, so that's definitely Leo's energy. And the Nine of Wands. Four of Cups with the Knight of Swords reverse. So someone in this energy is bored with their everyday life. Um, but I'm getting like, this could have been past, present, or future. Somebody is bored with their everyday life, right? Or was bored with their everyday life. Four of Cups with the Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah, a King of Wands upright. So this could be like somebody, like a friend, Leo, Okay. That was bored with their everyday life. And they came up with some sort of plan here with this page of swords energy. Or you help this person. However, it is resonating. But there's a Sagittarius here or a Leo. Aries energy. But the King of Wands is here with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. This King of Wands came up with some idea to basically be a people pleaser. All right. This, this person likes doing this. They like being a people pleaser. They like being a tyrant. Um, They, they like... They like being, like, in that type of energy. It gives them some sort of boost. Um, but with the Knight of Swords here and the Four of Cups coming out, like I said, somebody was bored with their everyday life. Somebody offered someone a bribe or a deal with that Four of Cups as well, too, energy. And this person started spiritually attacking someone else when they got this deal or bribe this person could have felt like they had no choice with this nine of wands energy they could feel like they were dealing with a snake or someone is a snake 
but they went into the spiritually and spiritual and started spiritually attacking someone this was someone's bright idea to do this it could have been this sagittarius this king of wands leo energy but th this was someone's bright idea to do this and this was an injustice here um someone definitely attacked someone in the spiritual because they were bored and they wanted to accept some type of offer to where they were being a people pleaser to women men both however it's going however it's resonate but they basically wanted someone else to stay is what i'm picking up too so that's why they decided to spiritually attack someone or do sex magic here on someone so that they can stay with them even though they wanted to mess around and people please other people because they were bored with the everyday life that they were living eight of swords with the sun it's like somebody wanted their cake and wanted to eat it too conflict is here someone is having a fall from grace this could be a divorce because where they thought they were going to have success with doing this it only it it, it it only brought conflict and competition that's about it someone want someone to be a queen of cups in the reverse very unhinged that's why they're sending this evil eye towards someone as well too or someone just is there's a queen of cups in the reverse that is in conflict with someone else because they they're trying to keep the fact that they're sending evil eye to someone it, uh it, um they want to keep cloak i was going to say cloak yeah this person wants to keep that a secret and they're having some type of fall from grace where they thought they were going to have success five of cups is here yeah there's all this conflict because something didn't go as planned Someone was supposed to be in this nine of swords and the nine of swords is in the reverse. Someone else is in this nine of swords energy and in conflict. Five of cups with the nine of swords. Yeah, two of swords here. About two paths are two people to choose from with this hangman energy. Someone could be feeling very stuck and stagnated as well here. Two of swords with the hangman. Um... This could have happened in the past with the Six of Cups in the reverse or somebody has bad memories about the past and they feel stuck and binded to the past. They feel stuck and binded to always being in limbo in their life or always going between two people. Six of Cups with the hangman because of the decisions that they made in, in the past. This Queen of Pentacles up our energy celebrated too quickly because this person was happy that a cycle ended here with judgment this person is under judgment they were definitely celebrating they were happy okay whoever this person is they they are happy that someone was staying tied to the devil and staying tied to their addictions they celebrated six of cups reversed with the hangman page of pentacles someone breadcrumbed someone in the past and there's like maybe they're stuck thinking about how they breadcrumb someone how, um their behaviors the hangman also talks about behavior. Page of Pentacles with the hangman. Tower. If somebody is in a tower because of this past behavior where they were the emperor in the reverse. Yeah. They listened to a false teacher, a false coach that told them that they should have two people to choose from or two paths to choose from in life. And all they did was bring this person towers. Yeah. Two of Wands with the hair from reverse. They overindulged in this um, Eight of Cups energy, and now a cycle has ended because this is what this person wanted to do. They wanted to have a bunch of one night stands with different people, and they overindulged and they ruined their own connection. Um, they were getting coached and they were getting taught something. This is what they are supposed to do, how they're supposed to live their life collective. Um, take that how it resonates, whether you were the coach here or you were the, the student. Uh, page of Swords with Justice Reverse. Family members gave this person this idea to do this. They celebrated, like I said, and they celebrated too quickly here. This Queen of Pentacles in the Reverse definitely was celebrating an ending. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands Reverse. We have the Chariot in the Reverse. She's trying to do whatever to hold on to someone here. This person has no intuition and they're definitely not a high priestess. They're in some sort of heartbreak here with this Three of Swords energy. Because there's an ending for them when it comes to this King of Wands. Not, yeah, Knight of Wands in the reverse. It's, there's so much clarity here that the, the woman has that they were doing this to. Yeah, this Queen of Wands upright energy. Booked and busy. 
there's so much clarity that she has about the fact that this man was cheating on her and why he was cheating on her. And a Scorpio, this person can have Scorpio and Sagittarius in their chart or Leo. This person definitely get brought about heartbreak on themselves as well too with all of this clarity they know that this woman is releasing them or has released them they can't even be mad at it this person is trying to do some type of come to me spell queen of wands with the magician but this woman is like i said she booked and busy loyal faithful and hard working very ambitious somebody is trying to do some sort of magic or set some type of energy onto this person or lies here with this magician here to make her be the nine of pentacles in the reverse it could be two men that are behind this, a king of pentacles and a king of cups. They want this person to be unbalanced. Yeah, they don't want a relationship to be over. But there is another party here involved. And they're arguing and fighting with, with this other party because maybe they ended something with this person. Ten of wands here with the nine of pentacles reverse. Yeah, seven of wands. This person just wants to steal. The illusion is broken. Secrets are out. How that they're very sneaky, especially in a home. Especially if you share a home with this person. Seven of swords with the four of wands. Wheel of fortune. The tables are turning on this situation. And this queen of swords upright has a victory. Yes, she does. She's speaking truths. What is the outcome for Leo's? What is the outcome for this situation? Someone wanted to play God in another person's life and control another person's life, um, love life as well, too. There could be some sort of arranged marriage here or some type of group or cult, okay? Wanted a masculine to always stay in this energy here, be free, be single. Three of Cups is in the reverse party. This person is giving up the party life or they don't want to party with these people anymore. This could be a Gemini as well, too. Someone wanted someone's gift, someone's blessing, someone's after someone's gift, someone's blessings as well. The lovers with the Ace of Pentacles upright. Someone is getting a new opportunity or being granted a new opportunity, okay, to be this Knight of Cups is what I'm getting as well too here. Magic could be involved or maybe someone here is a star. Or maybe someone is realizing they didn't put in any work with someone that is a star, but there is some sort of um, wish that could have been granted for this masculine. Okay. Death out of Knight of Cups. For them to actually give a solid offer. But do be careful that these people, this man still has addictions. This man still has people attached to them that are very low vibing and demonic. That are after money and success. This could also be this person's intentions that you don't know about. Okay, collective? So one more for this Knight of Cups energy. Yeah, somebody's coming out of hermit mode. They could be watching you. Two masculines here. So you could have two people to choose from as well, collective. Whether you're a Leo man or woman, or you know that this other woman has another person in their life that they, you know, reconcile with. Maybe you were watching them, but... Someone's definitely coming forward here. This could have been some sort of wish. Yeah. All right. So that's the outcome of the situation, guys. Someone definitely wants to come back around here to give you some sort of offer. You know, um, but I do feel like the situation where this person, they see that what they did was wrong and they see that it didn't bring nothing but failure to them. So they could have prayed and asked the universe, asked God to grant them another opportunity to bring an offer in. But this person, like I said, they still have addictions here. Let's pull some messages from the Divine Tarot Oracle deck. And that'll be the reading. What's the message is here for Leo? We have divine timing is at play. When you're truly ready for it, let it happen organically. Not anytime soon. April, December. 
trust that it will happen when the time is right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have... Within a month, things happen sooner when you focus your energy on you. It's coming for you in six months. All right, guys. So, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.